Hey everybody, Dom here. For this year's Canada Day video, we're going to be making some delicious barbecue. I'll be walking through all the steps involved in turning minced meat into cooked burger patties. Come join me on this journey. Let's begin with the ingredients. To make minced meat into burger patties, we need some Romano cheese. This is the wedge I have left. We need some breadcrumbs. I usually grate old dried bread, but this is store bought. We need some onions. Red or white, it doesn't matter. Why not mix them both together? And here's the mincemeat. By the way, do you like the painting in the background? I made it around 2016-2017. And we're going to mix all the ingredients together in this bowl. Might as well highlight the bowl as well. One important ingredient is missing. So I have to go outside and it's raining, so I need a sweater. And here we are outside. This is my grandmother's garden. Uh, the ingredient we need is parsley. Alright, here are all the ingredients, but I need to wash this parsley. I literally grabbed it from the rain-filled garden, so it's quite dirty. Standing here, washing this parsley, I realize I forgot an ingredient. I can't believe I completely forgot about eggs. A single egg is an important ingredient in burger patties. It's time to grate the cheese! Now, contrary to popular belief, the smaller side of the grater is better for this type of cheese versus the larger side because it gets stuck in the pointy mesh. So yeah, I'll be grating on the more narrow side. Here's the cutting board. I'm already bored of it. Let's grate this cheese! I left it out a bit longer than expected, trying to get all this footage, so in terms of consistency, it's a bit oily and melty. Kinda nasty. The cheese is complete. We don't need all of this cheese, I'll just store the excess for future use. Alright, it's time to cut the parsley and onions. This hurts my eyes. I used to own a small mechanical device that you'd push vigorously to chop things, but it broke. So cutting these with a knife is the only way to mince them up. Done and done. But I don't know what I was thinking, this is way too much onion. I guess I'll take most of it aside and refrigerate it for future recipes. Time to mix everything together. First the mincemeat. Now let's add the cheese. Breadcrumbs. It's time to crack an egg. Now let's add the onions and the parsley. The next step is to mix everything together. I dislike this step as I dislike getting my hands dirty with meat, but it's necessary. I guess I could use a big spoon or something like that to mix everything together, but you do something like that and you get laughed out of the cooking school, you know? I imagine. I've never been to a cooking school. Peer pressure exists among cooks. That's all I'm saying. Almost forgot the pepper. Let's turn this noble amassment of meat into modest piles of meat. Now that was a weird Team Fortress 2 reference. I've made two plates. One for cooking on Canada Day and one for the future. By the way, today is not Canada Day. I've done this all in preparation of the holiday. Now it's Canada Day, and I'm going to cut some zucchini. A zucchini goes great on the grill. I just need to cut it up. Now let's add some ingredients. First the salt. Then the pepper. Then the extra virgin olive oil. Seems like I've run out. Oh well, this is a good enough amount. Time to mix it all thoroughly. Wow, it's an absolutely gorgeous day today. Don't ask about the ball in the potted plant. My niece sometimes comes over, so I kick the ball with her. She's almost four years old at the time of recording this. I love my niece. Let's uncover this barbecue! Ta-da! It's time to start the barbecue. This is a pretty straightforward process. First I'll open the lid. Next, take out the cleaning brush. Next I'll turn on the propane tank. If turning the valve counterclockwise doesn't work, telling the tank that it's attractive never fails. Get it? Turning it on? Never mind. Next we put the middle burner on the little fire icon. 
Next, click the Ignition button and set all the burners to whatever setting you want. This barbecue is now successfully on. Now to clean the barbecue. It's best to do this before it gets too hot. Now to place the zucchini and patties on the grill. Once they're on, we'll close the lid, wait a few minutes, and come back. This is how the garden looks in the daytime when it's not raining. It's coming along. It's only July, so everything is quite small. Alright, let's check up on the cooking process. So far, so good. It's time to turn everything over. I'll just do it off screen. Alright, it's all turned. Now to shut the lid and come back in a few minutes. Man, there's gonna be a million pears this year. This pear tree has loads of pears forming on it. Gorgeous. Beautiful nature. I suspect the zucchini are done, so I brought a Pyrex dish outside to place them in. They are indeed done looking. I'll take them out and keep the meat a little longer. While taking out the zucchini, it's a good time to note a few things. One, I'm holding this camera with my other hand. It's really difficult to grab stuff and focus on getting good footage at the same time. And two, my camera overheated earlier. It's a really hot day outside today. I didn't even know cameras could overheat. It's probably due to the proximity to the grill. To see if the meat's done, we'll take one out and cut it in half. Looks done to me. But I like them a little more cooked, so we'll put them back for like one minute. These are strawberry plants. They've already made all their strawberries for this year. They make their fruits as soon as it becomes warm out, and then they go AFK for the rest of the year. Perhaps strawberries are the laziest plant that exists. It's time to take out the meat and bring it inside. Quick note, I've been washing these tongs off screen between shots. You should never let things that touched raw meat also touched cook meat. Never ever. Another thing to note, screw spatulas, tongs are where it's at. Tong gang rise up. Do it for Tracer Tong. That's a weird reference right there. And there we have it. Dinner fit for royalty. Today, we successfully cooked some barbecue. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Bonne fête du Canada. Happy Canada Day. Au revoir.